welcome back i have started the second part of the video i will convert this 2d into 3d i really like to make 3d it is very interesting so i have already this is my side elevation i will convert it to 3d so i have here base plate i will start from the base plate Three hundred by three hundred base plate. We have we have uh, four number of poles. So we have base plate. 350 by 350 as per design. So 350 by 350. I will offset for the anchor bolts. The, mostly it is like 4 centi or 5 centi, but I recommend it to like 5 centimeter distance from the edges. So our anchor bolt size we have here 24 mm so i will recommend this hole minimum 28 mm dia 28 mm dia okay so we have here column 168.3 mm so we have two design the stiffener just i will give one suggestion for the stiffener some people are making full length of this distance but i will recommend this to at least less than mm less so we are getting here length 90.8 mm so i will make here only 80 mm stiffener because we need here space for the welding okay so otherwise if you will not leave the space for the welding this welding look very bad so i will this i will design like this the stiffener stiffener extrude 10 mm okay this was our center so I will delete this okay so then we have the I will extrude the base plate okay 20 mm okay subtract okay just extrude in the minus so it will be okay I want to move this first from top view mirror this so as per design it is 4 okay in some time it's require 8 and 6 with 6 stiffener with uh, 4 anchors so I will give you one technique it's very simple just use same just rotate it and we have now here 90 degree just rotate it to 45 of half of the 45 okay so it will be 22.5 okay like this uh, here. So, see sometime this structure engineer will recommend in the design the six stiffeners usually this two is on the front and two is on the back so 
that case we have to make like this okay okay also i'm here using the six i will move this 3d of stiffener and base plate on 2d i will take this point just remember this i have taken this point on the 3d so we will see the side elevation is exactly matching we have set the limits okay no need of this one so we have here this soft line of the column 2d line i will delete this also I will make here 2d pipe okay then i will offset 7.11 mm then i will First, I will sweep this to here. Okay, I will go to the side elevation. Then here we have cover plate. I will recommend this to slice here. Okay. Now, now I will sweep this inner circle to here. So subtract this, and this. Okay. So you have only the solid C in the 3D you can easily if you will move up this is hollow this cover is solid because we have subtract we have sliced first so can see this is already converted in 3d so column and cover plate is finished 3d it is very simple so now we come to the second part we just make here 73 mm circle okay sweep as w double p sweep and make it here sweep line here also on the side elevation I will slice at this location I'll delete this I will slice again five and then they, because here we need 10 mm thick so this is sliced I will slice also here very easy some people are like they are making cover separate so it will take time so this is simple technique just slice this one okay after that just we have a 5.16 mm thick pipe we have 1.43573 mm so draw this inner circle then sweep this inner circle in this, sweep in this, okay. Then subtract from the outer pipe to inner pipe, okay. See, our cover is still there, outer surface to inner surface. So this part also finish. You can check 3D is completed, only one simple step. If see here I forget to make slice then see here there is no cover so I will go back I will go back uh, here I will slice slice here I need one slice here also Subtract motor to inner motor inner. This is finished now. Now it's perfectly fine. Here, 
do here cover plate so this part completed okay now we have to make here 20 mm round bar i will just sweep 20 mm tire this is also completed see now we have balance here we need to make convert into 3D this connection plates. It is also very simple. We have made this 3D as I instructed you in previous video. This connection plate. I have given method before, so use the same method and then join all the lines. So here I'm only I have joined this portion separate this separate. I will only extrude this I will use here this plate with the column two numbers 10 mm I will subtract it here okay two numbers I will use here one plate Twelve mm at least or sixteen mm. Twelve mm also fine. So I will use here twelve mm. So I will subtract. Okay, now I have make here only two two. So just remember this thing. I have make this thickness is twelve mm. I need to move half at six. This one I need to make the five. After that, I have to make. This. Now it is both is in the center line. So I will move six. So the both face will be equal. Okay. Sorry. If I will move eleven. Okay. After that, I have to make clearance. Now, this both plates are touched. I have to make clearance minimum 2.5 mm. I will go on the top view. Okay, I you can see here this gap, this both here to here. It is 2.5 mm. I will simply mirror this. Okay, so this portion also completed. It is very easy. See. So after that, I will make this same method. We will use extrude 10 mm, subtract, extrude. See this both is on the one side extruded, so I will shift it 6 mm to bring in the center. Shift this 6 mm to go to match the outer face, then I will move 2.5 mm for clearance. Then I will mirror, I will go on top view. So mirror. Mirror select previous object mirror so you can see it is already mirrored here. There is a uh, two plates now 10 mm thick and one plate is 12 mm thick welded on the cover plate. So this is the cover plate we have here. See here cover plate. This this part will be welded on this. And this one truss will be the one assembly members, including this diagonal bracing. Okay, I hope you understand this. It is very easy. Let me know if you want to ask something. So this truss. 3D is almost completed only we have balance here 
we have pipe connection Berlin here one is here one is here so only we need to add here the plates connection plates for this I have equally divided this video into four parts first was the site elevation in 2d the second is I have make in convert 2d to 3d so uh, I have completed only one frame I will complete one model for two cores then 3d then I will convert it to uh, then I will prepare the connection details that will be a separate part then will be I will prepare the foundation details so now I almost completed the site elevation so uh, only I need to include here correction plate for the pearl lanes it is also very easy I, we have here 73 mm pipe I will make line 1 73 mm we yeah, have offset 10 mm for the cover plate okay I will make here 20 mm clearance okay our, our bolt size here is 14 mm so our hole will be hole size will be 16 dia so I will make just this circular okay I will shift it to here because this is our clearance 20 mm clearance okay now we have front front face of the cover to here 57 so I will make it round I will make it 60 okay so this will be till here okay I will connect this line here I will connect this line here I will trim this I will trim this so this I paired I have prepared for the for lane this I have prepared for welded with the truss okay just I want to show you one thing can fit the purlin we need sliding holes at least at least like one and a half centi like 15 mm sl sliding okay so, uh, undo uh, 7.5 I will copy it here this side 7.5 then I will draw a line I will draw a line here I will trim I will trim this circle this circle so it will be like this the purlin should be I will recommend to make the sliding hole so it if uh, there is any uh, measurement difference between column to column so it will be adjust in that so we have easily make the iPad okay I will extrude it both iPad 10 mm subtract okay I will extrude here this I will make a uh, revolve I have make one rectangular you can make it it's very easy revolve here I will extrude this portion subtract okay move it 5 mm up to make it in the middle then I will just draw one line here and I move from this point to this center okay now remember one thing 
this point this red point I will make it red should be the level of the middle of the pipe okay so um, first I will, I will recommend you to make this as a block so you will easily handle this part to anywhere you can rotate you can copy easily you can move so I am making now block any block like iPads or any name Berlin iPads block okay now it is a block okay simple I will move to here uh, there is two option you can move this from here center to the center okay so on the side elevation copy uh, copy to all copy copy it copy it okay we will go to top view so This face should be here. So it is I will make to the position at least. Maybe. So I need to move this three of the iPad. One sixty-six point five mm. Okay, I already moved. So now one more thing I want to see if you will go to the side elevation see the <coughs> rotation we need to rotate only it is also very easy just rotate rotate select the iPads then center then just uh, unlock the ortho you can rotate it I, I want to tell you one thing just after rotating this see here this is perfectly matched this should be if your member size is this Perlin size and trust member is different then this Perlin should be equal to the top level of the truss so the fabric during fabric fixing, fixing we will not face any difficulties and your fabric will fix smoothly it is very important so here also check here I will adjust this iPad in the block okay this also I will know I'm only settling the rotation So, as you can see, this is the middle line of both iPad. So, I want this middle line to be here. So, this is, I make to move 5 mm down this iPad. Okay. More bit. Make move this point 5 mm down. Move five meter. Okay. Now I think it will be perfectly fine. No, why? Whatever. Now it is moving this direction. Think ortho. Our ortho is off. That's why. Now it is. Perfectly fine, 5 mm down. So, uh, it is mirrored. I need to move it up 10 mm. Mm.
so you can see this I have properly rotated this one okay so it will fix like this actually this portion this iPad is separate only in this lower iPad is welded with the truss but I may combine for easy adjustment see here so our one sided truss is completed now we have to do only very simple like our column to column measurement we have 5 meter make here one line 5 meter go to plan view okay then I will mirror this line here so here then and I will make to line center here here okay dial 73 and I will sweep this line I have to make also offset 5.16 sweep here subtract okay copy point this here is completed you can see one three demo only one thing is balance we need to mirror this portion mirror center of this I will <coughs> explode this delete this same here I will explode I will delete I will explode I will delete so our 3D model is ready. You can see it here. Okay, this is the first truss. So after continuous, this will be like that. Okay. So here. The side elevation I want to take this full. degree because it was rotated other direction now you can see this icon before it was rotated down but it is like this so it is I have tried to make as simple as much I can make so it's all 3d is completed you can even check the cross check the measurements from this center to this center we have 5 meters on the side elevation we have bottom of the base plate to center of the projection we have 2.5 meter perfectly right then we have draw here this point 2.22 so from here in our upper drawing it was 2215 just see it is perfectly fine so hope you understand this tutorial this is very easy